Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Just before we jump into the rat action, I wanted to share with you another channel that I watch regularly on YouTube, Air Rifle Hunter Through the Glass. This guy deals with rats and rabbits, and he's been hitting the rats very hard these past few weeks. Released some really good quality videos, and this is just a little footage from one of his most recent videos. Very accurate and humane shooting, he hammers rats, trims rabbits and other pests across various permissions. He's a very keen ATN fan like myself, and this footage is top seller. He's linked in the description. Please check him out, make sure you subscribe, and please tell him our rifle pest control sent you. Welcome back to another farm shoot. This is the dairy farm, and this here is a piece of old machinery in the corner. Look at all of that activity there. How many rats? Obviously I can't take a shot on them like this. One of them's going to end up getting injured. I want to try and get a kill, a nice humane kill if possible. So one of them comes out there, and then quickly followed by a second one. So I take the shot, hoping to get two. If you watch when I take the shot, I thought I'd missed this initially. On playback, see that marker? Jumps back and drops into that little cavity there. I only noticed that on editing, so I need to go back up there and check that soon. There's the second one. Shoot him and he knocks that first one out onto the ground. Happy with that so far. Good start. Haven't been there long at this point. Quick scan around and there's nothing else there. But this one. Now he doesn't settle and I can't get a nice clean headshot. So I'll go for an upper body shot. I went for the high body shot because at the end of the day the farmer wants these cleared and these are really devastating pellets on impact. That rat jumped through to the other side of the tractor and fell on the ground on the other side. Bled out very quickly. So in that situation where I'm confident I can recover them or give a second shot if needed, I'm happy to do a high body shot. Knows your neighbour. That'll learn you, it doesn't pay to be nosy. Not when there's someone outside lobbing pellets around. He kicks himself onto the ground. Easy pick up that one. Now this one I spotted right in the corner of one of the carve pens. Wouldn't have spotted them without the thermal. I was literally walking past, scanning as I walked, and I spotted a little heat signature in the corner. Blow him a kiss, get his attention. Wallop. Have that. 10.34 grains right between the eyes. If you listen, you can hear him kicking and thrashing at the back, between the boards. What a nice sound. Back inside the grain store. Now, this area here, this little black patch, and the one at the bottom of your screen there, is liquidized cod, salmon, and trout cat food. That's also mixed with liquidised eggs and pilchards, mixed in with salt and vegetable oil. What? The rats love it. What's not to like? This one here is just not settling down. You can see him climbing around this machinery. The, the, the piece behind him is some sort of plastic reservoir. And I'm not going to take a shot on him directly in front of that, in case A, I miss or B, any other penetration cracks that or puts a hole in it. Old equipment I understand, but it's not mine. And regardless of that, you have to give it most respect. So there's the three blobs of calf food. And, oh, there's a rat. 
Watch this. This is how fast they're moving around in there. Now, they're sussing the place out. They can smell the cat food. So they'll be back for that. Just scanning around with the thermal. So off to the left hand side there is where those rats were by the old machinery. What's nice about that recon tripod is I can set the rifle up and train it into the position that I need it to be and into the general direction of where I'm shooting. And then once I spot something, switch on the IR, make a few minor adjustments to the position of the rifle, get it in position, and then I can hunker down for the shot. So that one came out for the cat food. I thought that landed okay. Just give a follow up shot to be on the safe side. Nice insurance shot there. He's kicked his last. And he's gone and rubbed himself in all that cat food I've put down. Ungrateful swine. We've got a wanderer. And his buddy behind. I took the shot on him. And I thought I got a clean headshot, but I think he pulled his head to the left just as I committed to the shot. High body shot, headshot. Either way, he died very quickly on the straw bale to the right hand side. So the main area of the grain store is on the left, and on the right hand side we've got these big bales of straw and big piles of wheat and grain. They're coming out of the straw where they're nesting and help themselves to a little feast they've got right on the doorstep. Only this scaly tail will not be helping themselves to this plate anymore. Actually, I'm recording this on the 25th of February. Maybe he could give up grain for Lent. That might be an idea. Actually, looking at the photograph here, I would say it's safe to say he's going to be giving up grain forever. And there will be no resurrection here. Whilst I was cleaning up the mess from the previous one, I missed this one at the bottom of the grain store. Just caught the back end of him as he sculpted off into the darkness. I'll get him next time. Yet another one in the straw. And he is living no more. That smashed his brain box open. Managed to retrieve him with the grabbers. Nicely done. And back over on that piece of machinery in the corner. Wallop. Threaded that pellet through a nice one inch gap. He kicked himself straight out onto the ground. Another nice easy retrieval. Straight into my new collapsible bucket. And back by the straw again. They were coming thick and fast out of there. Nice big supply of food. They were loving it. Absolutely loving it. It was like shooting fish in a barrel at one point. After a small lull, I spotted this one here, sticking his head out wondering whether to go for the cat food. This is the final shot of the evening. Nice high shot there, right behind the eye. Lights out, straight off to ratty heaven to meet his friends. Awesome night shooting, thank you very much for watching.